everyone today I am going to be doing an empties video I feel like it's been a while since I've done one I, I don't do these like each month or anything like that it's kind of just when my bag is full I decide to do a video and tomorrow is trash day and recycle day so I decided that I was going to do it today um, if I sound a little funky I have been sick for a little while now I just have like a cold so my nose is still a little bit stuffy but I'm feeling better enough that you know I'm ready to be on camera and starting to film again so um, I'm doing my empties video I just have them in this um, Valentine bag uh, my mom gave it to me for Valentine's Day one year and I just can't bring myself to throw it away so I just keep all of my empties in it but I'm just gonna start digging stuff out talking about it uh, what I found of the product and all that good stuff so the first thing that I have is this appeal hydrating gloves and um, I purchased these there's always random hairs all over my stuff I'm so sorry about that uh, but these I purchased at Big Lots they're only a dollar um, and you get one pair of gloves in here and these are disposable so you use them one time and then you throw them away um, but these are the hydrating gloves and they had shea butter jojoba oil and vitamin E so basically they're kind of like um, plastic type like um, thin plasticky kind of gloves that you put on your hands and then the insides of them are coated in um, just those moisturizing oils and butters and stuff like that and you keep them on for 20 minutes and then once you take them off your hands feel really good and these work well I like them um, and I plan on picking up more of them when I go to Big Lots so hopefully they um, continue carrying them for a while uh, because I did really like those. My hands super dry, especially during winter, but um, a lot of times I'm just like with working and stuff. I work around cardboard a lot and so that like really, really, really like dries out my hands like super bad. Um, so next thing I have is a empty package of makeup wipes. Um, I purchased these at Dollar Tree and they were by a brand called Ambi Even and Clear Makeup Cloths. Um, but you got 30 towelettes in here for a dollar. Good deal. Um, these didn't have a scent, which I mean I guess is, you know, not everyone is looking for a scented makeup wipe. I kind of like when my makeup wipes have a little bit of a scent. Um, these did not have any kind of smell. Um, they stayed wet the whole way through the bag. I don't recall having an issue as far as them like losing their um, moistness. But um, as far as the makeup wipes go, I found that they were like pretty thin. Um, so I don't know. They worked well, but um, I didn't like that they didn't have a scent. And they were a thinner cloth. So, But for a dollar... Um, definitely if I was in like a pinch and needed some right away and I was at Dollar Tree, I'd buy them again. But they're definitely like not a favorite of mine or anything like that. Um, next is another Dollar Tree product. Uh, this was the Sure Sense Apple Cinnamon Air Freshener. These were the um, crystal beads. And as you can see, they're all dried up. Um, this smelled really, really nice. I loved the scent of it, and I loved the beads, like when they were all like plump and wet. I liked the sound of it. I thought it was like really cool. Um, I put this in my closet. I have a walk-in closet, but it's on the smaller side, and I don't think I smelled this at all the entire time that I had it. It just did not have a strong scent at all, which is weird because like smelling it right out of the jar like I still smell it it smells fantastic but it doesn't have a throw of a scent um so I was a little disappointed in that I probably wouldn't purchase these again but I'd like to maybe try like another brand or something of these like bead type things because I thought they were really cool so finish that um, next I have a candle and I've had this for a little while uh, but this was by a company called Once Upon a Candle and the scent was pomegranate cider and the scent on this was absolutely 
amazing. I loved this smell. I had no idea how much I love the smell of pomegranate until I burned this candle. Absolutely loved it. Um, I do have like some sootiness around it, but that's because I'm lazy and don't always trim my wicks when I'm burning candles. Uh, but it did burn down really nicely. I do have a little bit that's still left on the bottom, but again, like my wick is entirely disgusting, and that's probably why it doesn't light anymore. Um, but this was a really nice candle. I like that a lot, and they also make bath bombs, which are also really good too. So definitely check them out. Uh, next, I have this. Aura Cassia Relaxing Lavender Aromatherapy Mineral Bath. I just used this one night. Didn't do a demo of it or anything like that. Just something that I <clears throat> just used for myself. But um, it's just kind of like a powdered um, bath. You just like sprinkle it in your water. And it had like this really nice lavender scent. I, I think it's like made with like essential oil. So it was like just a super like soothing scented I don't know it's hard to describe but I really like it it wasn't like a bath that um you know was like a bath bomb I made like crazy cool colored water and just you know stuff like that it was just like a relaxing bath just something to sprinkle in my water and just relax nothing special to it but I did like it um I have another pack of makeup wipes these are the yes to grapefruit makeup wipes and these are the correct and repair I'm not sure like the yes to has different um, scented makeup wipes and I guess they are different things but I think they're all the same to me uh, but this is the correct and repair kind and these um the scent I think I like these more over the um, blueberry ones that I've used and also, what other one was it? Was it a green tea, maybe, or something like that? I don't know. But uh, I liked the grapefruit scent to these. And the Yes To Makeup Wipes, I think they work good. Their wipes are thick, and they stay moist, and they work really well. So, I definitely liked those. Um, oh, I have another <laughs> makeup wipe. Um, these I also purchased at Dollar Tree, but they're by the Global Beauty Care. And these are the Cucumber Extract. Again, 30 wipes for a dollar. Um, these ones here, I'm trying to remember them. Um, they definitely had a scent. The scent wasn't horrible. Um, but again, I think the Dollar Tree makeup wipes, they're just on the thinner side as far as the cloth is concerned they're not as thicker which makes sense considering they're only a dollar but um again dollar tree makeup wipes the ones i've used so far perfectly fine to use didn't have a problem with any of them but just you know not the thickest cloth so used up that um next is a secret clinical strength um deodorant and I really like this stuff I think it works really well um TMI I do like I sweat a lot I, I stress sweat um it's not stinky it's just I get wet under my arms like even when I'm stressed out like whether I'm hot or stressed it doesn't matter like I'll just like feel kind of like wet under the arms which is entirely disgusting but thankfully not stinky but um this stuff works incredibly well as far as keeping that wetness at bay so I definitely um like this deodorant and it is in the completely clean scent and it smelled really nice just very fresh smelling so I use that up um, again, another makeup wipe. This one was just kind of like a travel-sized pack. And this was by Pure Derm Skin Solutions. And these were um, aloe extract, just 15 sheets. These were mini wipes. And when I'm talking mini, I mean mini. Um, I should have saved one to show you guys just how tiny they were. I um, definitely needed more than one wipe to uh, clean your face thoroughly. Um, and they were also pretty thin as well. And I forget where I got these. I think I got them in some type of, um, subscription box. But, um, I mean, they felt, they felt nice on the skin and everything like that. But just, like, super, super duper tiny. So, used up those. Oh, I got another candle here. I think I have a couple candles. Um, this one was a Stella Mare candle. 
And again, I have those horrible like burn marks on the top of my candles from not trimming the wicks. However, I did purchase a wick trimmer at Yankee Candle, so hopefully I won't have this problem as much as long as I'm like, you know, not lazy and decide to trim my wicks. Um, but this one was in the scent Rose, and it burned very nicely. Um, scent Throw is great, and I love the scent of Rose. It smelled awesome, and this was a pretty thick jar. If you're into, like, reusing jars um, that candles I've been in, I'm getting, like, all full of soot. I need to, like, watch how I'm holding these things. Um, this, this was a really nice candle. I like that. It was my first ever Stella Mare candle, and I really did enjoy it. Um, this is another candle I used up. And, again, a freaking hair on it. Oh, my goodness. And, um, let's see. This is a honeysuckle scented candle by Sugar Bell Candles. And this was in a cute little mason jar. Um, oh, this smelled really good too. It just smelled just like honeysuckles. Um, burned down great and it had a really nice throat as well. I use most of these candles um, along my bath when I take my baths. Um, and I just really enjoy them. Um, I usually save like my big candles for like, um, you know, down in my living room and kitchen and stuff like that. Um, like this. This was a um, Bath and Body Works candle in First Bloom. Um, this was a one of their three wick candles and this smelled really nice. It was like a perfect um, springtime scented candle. Just very nice like floral smelling and burned down great. Uh, I really like Bath and Body Works candles. I think they're one of my favorites. At least currently, they are um, one of my favorite brands as far as candles go. Um, next, I have a Lush product. This is the Kalamazoo. Um, this is Beard and Facial Wash. Both my boyfriend and I both use this. He used it on his beard. I use it as a face wash, and it was really nice. Um, just definitely very um, made your skin feel soft, and it was loaded with fresh pineapples. And, yeah, I really like the scent of this as well. It just has a very nice, like, fresh citrus kind of smell. And, as always, with the Lush Pots, um, if you take five back to Lush, you get a free fresh face mask. Just make sure you clean them up. Um, I even know to clean them. And last time I went, apparently, like, I didn't, like, thoroughly wipe out the one. And I was so embarrassed. Because they said something like, just, you know, make sure that you clean them up before you bring them back. And I'm just like, oh no. Because, like, I did, I just didn't, like, thoroughly clean it, you know what I mean? I didn't check before I took them back, and I, it was just very embarrassing. So, make sure you clean them before you take them back. Um, I also have another one of the Appeal Moisturizing Gloves. Um, this one is a little bit different than the other one. The other one was the hydrating gloves, and these ones are the moisturizing gloves. I think I like the moisturizing gloves better, um, but I think they both worked great. And um, as far as the smell goes, the, I don't remember like them having a super strong smell or anything like that. They just made your hands feel really nice afterwards. It was just one of those things... Um, just to like pamper yourself but for me like it, it worked at least for the time being I mean like the next day my hands felt dry but um, during the time I had them on like afterwards my skin felt great so um, <clears throat> next I have a this is a um, smaller pack of the yes to face wipes these are the yes to cucumbers as far as the yes to makeup wipes go the cucumber one is my least favorite and I think it's just it's the scent. I'm not huge into the scent of this. I love cucumbers, um, but th this cucumber smell I'm not really digging all that much, um, but it worked just as great as the other ones, so yeah. Um, <clears throat> next I have this candle, and as you can see there's still like a good bit left in this, but it won't um, light anymore. Um, you can see it is down to the bottom, 
um, but you know that wick isn't gonna light but it just didn't burn very um, evenly I guess you'd say uh, but this was the pumpkin pie um, candle by Bay Point Candles I think I got this out of a peaches and petals box the scent on this amazing I love the smell of it it was a very nice candle it just didn't burn very like evenly um, but it was a nice candle though um, next I have a deep steep hand cream this is in lavender and chamomile and this hand cream I liked it but as far as like when I'm putting it on and everything and like um, you know getting it into your skin like it was very hard to soak into your skin it just kind of like almost seemed like it left a um, white residue behind because it wouldn't really lather in if you know what I'm saying um, but I like the scent of it I thought it had a really nice smell I love lavender and chamomile which is a very calming um, scent and as you can see I actually cut the top of it to get like the last bits out because I hate wasting stuff I like using like, like my whole product and um, so but yeah I just I don't know it was a good product but it didn't it didn't sink into the skin um, quite as well as I wished it would have um, let's see oh another makeup wipe um, I think I have like every single yes to makeup wipe in here um, this was the blueberries and this was the age refresh so like this is the age refresh cucumbers are soothing and grapefruit was correct and repair and I noticed no difference in any of them um, but yeah they, they work great as makeup wipes so to remove your makeup and like I said the thickness of them is superb um, next is another candle um, this one was an Elvis candle and I got this in a pet treater box <laughs> but this one was in a burning love and I loved the the packaging of this it was just really like blingy and cool uh, but the scent of this was vanilla it smelled good um, it was a very small candle I liked the the outer um, packaging that it was in um, and it burned down evenly you can see the entire bottom there so I use that up I use up this sample and I'm trying to get through samples um, that's like one of my well I don't, I don't really have like New Year's resolutions or anything like that but one of them needs to be to get through some of my samples because I have so many samples of things and I just don't like reach for them so um, these were the Garnier whole blends um, yeah shampoo and conditioner and this was in the honey treasures it had royal jelly honey and propolis extracts and these oh my goodness there's like a little bit that was coming out these smelled really good I loved the scent of this and you know my hair felt really good after using it I did like it so I don't know those were good so I did like those um, I have another lush product this is the refresher shower jelly and this one was just like super citrus super duper citrus very like it's time to wake up kind of smell very zingy and refreshing so um, as far as shower jellies go I just use them just plop the entire thing out and just scrub it on up and down my skin and that's just how I use it I don't like cut them or anything like that um next is this candle and these candles always look so disgusting um but this one here was by Melaleuca um I had never had anything by this brand before I got this at a yard sale um the scent was mint chocolate truffle I didn't really care for the container this was in um it's just I don't know it's weirdly shaped with a frostiness to it I just thought it looked dirty even before I started burning the candle um the candle itself didn't burn down like super great either um and the scent on this like it smelled good when I was like just smelling the candle but as it was burning I didn't really think it had much of a scent so I wasn't very impressed by that 
and this little candle here is a little Bath and Body Works candle in Merry Cookie. And a lot of these kind of candles I get at yard sales. I think I pay like a quarter for this or something probably. Um, but it is scented a bowl of cookie dough made from the very finest ingredients was the inspiration for this simply magical holiday scent. Pure vanilla, butter, and sugar. And this smelled good. It had like your typical baked good kind of scent. Um, but I don't know. Since it's so small, I don't think it like gives off like a ton of scent, if you know what I'm saying. It smells good, but just doesn't, you know fill up a room or anything like that. Um, but then again, I also use a lot of these smaller candles when I'm taking baths and usually my bath bombs and stuff sometimes overpower the scent of the candle anyway. Um, next was a sample of the ACT anti-cavity mouthwash. Nothing special about this. I don't know why I threw it in here. Sometimes I don't like show every single empty, especially like food and things like paste and stuff like that unless it's like something that like I really felt like I had to talk about. I don't really have anything to say about mouthwash. I mean it was fine. So oh I do have more samples in here. Um this was a witch baby soap. Obviously I don't have this soap anymore because it's all but this was Queen of the Damned soap that I had and oh this smells so good. Um but super moisturizing love witch baby soaps um, moisturizing soaps, their bath bombs are awesome, and the scents are just out of this world. So, I use up that. I have a couple Lush samples. Um, first thing I have is a Rehab Shampoo sample. And, let's see if I can get a sniff of this still. Yeah, this is kind of like a, a minty kind of smell. Um... It was alright. I can't, like, I'm trying to, like, remember when I was using it. I, I, I don't know if I'd purchase this again, like, as far as, like, a full-size product because I'm not, like, super big on the mintiness. Um, however, I am using a product that I really like right now that'll be in an empties video soon, I'm sure. Um, but as far as these little pots go, I have so many of these little pots and, like, I don't know what to do with them. If you guys have any suggestions on what to use these for because I mean I can just throw them in the recycle bin and recycle them but I just like have been holding on to them thinking like they'd serve a purpose at some point but I still haven't found that purpose so I'm open to suggestions. Uh, next slash product is the salted coconut hand scrub. Um, again this was a sample. Um, I actually got this sample in the store. These samples come from online ordering and um, the sample here I got from the store. If you go to a Lush store and you can request a sample of pretty much anything. Uh, I don't think they'd be able to give you like a sample of like bath bomb or anything like that. But um, as far as like products like this, like soap and stuff like that, they can give you samples of it if you ask. And this stuff smelled amazing. It was like the beach in, in a pot, really. Um, loved the scent of this. As far as the, um, hand scrub itself, I feel like it wasn't very moisturizing. Um, I also use a Mary Kay, um, exfoliating hand scrub. And I think the Mary Kay one is, like, way more moisturizing than the Lush one, which is weird. But I like the scent of this one more. So after I used it, I definitely felt like I had to, um, put on lotion, like, straight away because... It just wasn't moisturizing, but I loved the smell. Um, I also have another another Yes to Blueberries uh, makeup wipe, so that makes two. These are like travel packs, so I used up more of those. Um, another Lush sample I have is the Happy Hippie Shower Gel. And this, again, just uh, a citrus scent. <laughs> it's like, lately here, I'm like, Lush is like, Citrus, 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 citrus. It's like everything is citrus. Um, but they're like different scents of citrus. The Happy Hippie Shower Gel, just a nice, um, again, citrus kind of scent. Smelled really good. Um, I prefer other scents of Lush and Shower Gels, though. But, you know, with the samples, I just use them. Uh, next I have this Moon's Harvest sample. This was a sugar scrub. 
in Yacht Party. And this one had like a, a chocolate kind of strawberry kind of scent to it. Um, their sugar scrub is really nice. It's kind of um, thicker than um, some other sugar scrubs that I've used as far as like... Um, it's not any kind of like liquid to it. You know sometimes you get sugar scrubs and there's like a little bit of like oily liquid to it. Um, it's not like that. It's just a very thick kind of sugar scrub. But it scrubs up really nicely once you know it's wet and on your body. So I like that. Um, I also used up this Sorenzo Beauty Berry Fluff Bath Oil. Um, I didn't demo this because um, I figured this was kind of more on like the smaller side like um not necessarily travel size but you know like a try it type of size um but this here i just used all in one bath and it was really nice it was moisturizing it turned from bath water just a very nice blue and since it was a bath oil it was super duper moisturizing and the scent was very fluff and it just had a beautiful like candy kind of berry smell it smelled really good and then this is my last thing makeup wipes more makeup wipes but these ones are my absolute favorite these are also by that appeal brand um, that i buy at big lots and these are the argon oil makeup wipes you get 30 wipes in here and these are only a dollar as well so you go to dollar tree you get 30 wipes um of like you know whatever brands they carry the cloths aren't that spe spectacular the cloths on these are a little thin they're not as thick as like the yes two but i love the scent of these they smell amazing and they work really really well at removing makeup and stuff like that so definitely my favorite um makeup wipes like i prefer them over the yes two even though the yes two are a little bit thicker so anyway guys that is my empathies video i apologize if i sound kind of froggy in the throat um my throat is actually getting really dry with all of this talking so i'm gonna go and find myself a drink i hope you guys enjoyed this video um let me know what you think of this whole new setup kind of thing um i'm no longer like sitting on the floor in front of my vanity i'm actually in a chair and i have like a table in front of me and that's going to be a whole new video in of itself, but I'm just not ready to show it yet. But definitely keep an eye out for that because I'm like super duper excited to share with you guys. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.